It's been a while since I've done a double header. Have I ever done a double header? Well, let's do one now. Let's make something cool today. I'm going to be as efficient as possible and knock two birds out with one stone. We've got a little bit of orange on the belly of this sunfish and I'm going to move that into and actually I'm going to put a little bit on the underside of the nose here. And then on a woolly bear we're going to do two bands of orange and black in the middle but I'm going to keep the middle white and you'll see why in a minute because we're going to kind of trick this out a little bit. Just requires an artist brush, a little flat brush. So we're gonna jazz up this little guy, this little runt, mouse style. It's been a while since I've put a fan brush to use on this channel, so we'll do that too. So now, pretty much, we've got two bands of orange on this side, and this is the um, Createx Pearlized Tangerine. So we got a little shimmer in that. And then on the belly of this sunfish, it is uh, a little orange there too. Now, we're gonna back that up with another pearl color. I have been using pearls lately, but it's summertime. Everything seems to take on a shimmer in the summertime. And now I've got some lime green loaded into the chamber here, just a little bit. And we're gonna kinda coat the top and back with this just run it out I didn't have a whole lot in it and over top of that I want just a little bit if I could find it a red violet since we're doing a sunfish bluegill kind of a pattern that's what I want so just a little bit on the top there just enough to give it a profile for running this in a little bit of stained water. Now before I heat set, and we're pretty much done with that color wise, except for the accents on the woolly bear, but I want to come back and hit the snout on this with just a little bit of opaque sky blue. And I don't want to go past the eyes, but I do want to go up just to give it a little bit of accent on top of that red-violet. And you've got that two-tone color going on there, and that looks really sharp. I'm hoping the camera's picking up what that did. Basically, it looks like you have two layers, one sitting on top of the other. And that's the beauty of being able to use wet on wet. So I did not heat set any of this when we applied the colors over top of the base white. The only thing that I did was heat set the base white on both of those. But now we have our pearl tangerine, our lime, a little bit of red violet, and our opaque sky blue. The next color that I'm going to come down is a Wicked Golden Yellow. It's a detail color from Wicked. And I've got this little creature feature stencil. And all I'm doing here is I'm going to give it a quick shot around the face and then lay it across the back just enough to where you can see that it's on there and do both sides like that around the face and then across the back. Maybe just do a couple along the top. And you can lay that right over top of your, you don't have to put white down, just lay it right down on top. Now, we're gonna do a little bit on the back there maybe just a couple on the nose of this top and that's going to do it for this stencil 
keeps it. There's the carpet. I told you I ripped carpet up. There it is. Next up is this Detail Black Magento. Just a few drops should do it. One more. We're going to pull our PSI way, 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 way down. Make sure we got a good flow coming out of here. We do. And now we're going to do the old trick with this piece of paper here. Actually, it's a stencil. Just a ripped piece of stencil. And let's see here. How do I want to do this? Well, let's do the simplest one. We'll start in the back. And we'll do maybe four or five. I'll flip this over and do the same thing. Bring that down so you guys can see a little bit better. And on this, we're just going to go ahead and make the uh, the full lines here, our bluegill lines, or sunfish. Let's just say this is a general sunfish. And now we've got some pretty cool lines on there. So how do you line that up, pardon the pun? Well, if you've followed the channel for any length of time, you know that I will take a look at this, and then on the middle and the back, I will lay down a little dot everywhere we need to put it on the other side. And one more back here. So what that looks like, just a very small dot. I try and keep it in the middle, but it doesn't always work out that way because I still have to eyeball it. But that gives us a general idea when we flip it around and come at it from the other side but it makes it so much easier. And that way we'll have a pretty good distance on both sides and they should line up pretty well. And on this one, we'll hit this side first and then we'll come back and do the other one. And then just lay it down everywhere. There we go. One more. Kind of wipe that down. Turn it around. So my neighbors across the street, I don't even know if that's coming through. I'll go back from this side. Neighbors across the street are barbecuing. Listening to some Jimi Hendrix. And I don't know if that's filtering through to our feed here, but sounds good in my ears, so I am certainly not complaining. It's a beautiful, beautiful Saturday. Thought about fishing today, but tomorrow is going to be exactly like today. Um, so I think tomorrow is a yak day for Jekyll. It'll be my one day off that I take this week. And there, we have got lined up on both sides our bluegill stripes or sunfish, whatever it is you want to call them. I'm also going to add just a little bit of darkening around this eye here. Not a whole bunch, but just enough. I know people ask why we do that. Um, I just like to, especially if I'm using a red eye, which I will be using on this, I like to kind of give it a little bit of a uh, contrast there. And, and purple and blacks do that real well. And while I still have the uh, black magenta in the chamber, I'm going to come back and cover up that line. Cover up those marks. And there we go. Let's say we achieved that. I've got just a couple of drops of jet black going into this just to finish up this particular bait. Now, we want to come over. We don't want to spend too much time on this, but we want to come over real quick 
and do a little gill plate. And I just have a little piece of stencil on that. And do the other side. There we go. And then onto that, we're just going to drop down and do an ear flap. That's the only thing that we're going to add in black because they really are black on sunfish. So everything else is natural, including that dog bark. Now I talked about efficiency, and I talked about efficiency a little bit. Um, kind of in staying consistent if if you have orange loaded in your airbrush chamber and you've got both baits that can use orange then use it at the same time as long as it makes sense to do that um, on the next bit because I have a little bit of black left in the chamber here's how we make the woolly bear pattern on this bait we're using this fan brush we've got a low pressure about 15 Just making the uh, the woolly bear fur, and we'll do that on both sides, on the underside, just to kind of trick it out. I could have just done a, a simple black band, and if you don't have a fan brush, you can do a simple black band. But if you have a fan brush, why not trick it out a little bit? It's not going to take you that much more more time to do. hit this underside here get that dry flip this up just come back and do the other side the middle I'm going to give both of these a quick heat set And then on this one, I need to get just a drop of white on there and a very thin brush. Where is my thin brush? Actually, this one will do. It's not too bad. I just have to be careful with it. She looks like it's got a little issue at the end of it. I'm just going to can shave down brushes pretty easy just by taking a regular pair of scissors and just working your way all the way around. Turn the brush as you're doing it so you don't get more on one side than the other. And then make sure all the hair is off of that. And then if you want to make that point, roll your brush as you're putting paint in it. And that should give you better definition if you notice, most sunfish have these little white underlays on their ear flaps. So we're just coming real easy. Now, if you don't have a steady hand and you don't feel comfortable doing it this way, 
then what you can do is lay down white with your stencil first. The same stencil. Uh, ah, see, there's an oops. That's easy to take care of though. Just grab just a tiny bit of cleaner, not much at all. Actually dab that off and just lift that right off like it never happened. As long as your paint's wet, you can usually get away with it. And then just come back. And I'm going to show you how to finish that to where it really looks like it never happened. Just keep going around. And see, even I slip on, on stuff like that. But once you get the majority of that off, heat set both sides real good. And then take an acrylic pen like the Uniball Vision Elites that I use. Come back and just kind of fill that in and make it look a little prettier. And I've done that. I can't tell you how many times I've done that, folks. I do it all the time. And as long as you're using a true black, this side doesn't need it. That side looks really good, actually. Um, but the other side did. So I think that handled it pretty well. And while I'm at it, all I need to do is really sign the bait and put eyes on. So we'll go ahead and sign it now. Now to finish off this woolly bear, I came back with some transparent, real thin. I've got this pre-thinned. Um, yes, occasionally I do. You guys ask all the time, do I thin my... Most of the time I do not. Sometimes I do. Situations like this, I will. So if you have a little bit too much dark on one side, you want to come back and just kind of accent your oranges. I don't want to hit it with pearl again because it's already... The pearl is a little too thick but I can accent that with just a little bit of this transparent, regular old transparent orange. I'm going to go ahead and sign this bait too. I gave it a quick heat set off camera. There we go. Now we're ready for some eyes. Even though this baby one is a whole lot larger than this one. Both of them take five millimeter eyes, which is thrilling. I'm going to be using red on this and black on the other one. So for these guys, the, the woolly bear, it's just going to get a standard semicircle five millimeter black. Always, always, always super glue. Always. Just a little drop. Set that eye in. Make sure we don't super glue our fingers, which I'm famous for. And the same on the other side. And both of them are set in. Now we got to pick out some red ones. I'll try and keep my glue closed unless I'm right ready. Now on this, let's see what we got that looks cool that I haven't used in a while. I've been using John's stuff heavy, which I love to do. Let's use these. I see a set that'll work pretty well. These are fives, and these are cool as well. They're, they're half black, half reds, so it kind of looks like it has a pupil in it. Just a little dab there, a little dab on the other side. And then we'll drop these in. Now on these, you kind of want to be directional. So if you want to look like the bluegill is getting chased, then kind of point the black part of the eye downward and behind it and try and get that same angle 
on the other side of it. And I'd say this is pretty much ready for clear coat. Now we could add the little red dot on this one. I think I will. I, I normally don't um, just because there's only one or two of the sunfish species that actually in real life have that on there. But I think on this one, I'm going to go ahead and do it. Have I opened this yet? No. All right. And we'll get the rest of this jacquard. It's a little bit thinner than the Createx. Createx is fairly thick. That's probably too much. Only really need a drop, but I'm going to load it good. If you push the brush down, really push, it'll absorb a lot more. And then you just kind of let gravity do its thing. Put one there. And put one on the other side, same place. And now we need to heat set that almost immediately. You can kind of let it dry if you do that, but I prefer to heat set it. And we are pretty much finished up with our bait for the day. Actually, both of our baits for the day. I'm going to pull the, uh, I'm not going to show you the clear coat process. You guys see me do that all the time these days, so I'll uh, let you escape without <laughs> having to sit through that. I hope I've been able to teach you guys a couple of things today. This is our sunfish pattern with a little bit of lime green, a little orange on the belly, some modeling on the top, and our rough cut stencils to make the lines. We did a blue little nose deal there. And we added that red dot onto the ear flap, which I normally don't. This is our woolly bear. Fun little small bait. I like this on maybe two or four pound test, if that, um, on an ultralight. And you will have some fun and catch the mess out of panfish and pretty much anything will hit it. Trout love this bait. Bass love this bait. So you guys have a fantastic rest of your day, afternoon, morning, evening, whenever it is when you guys watch this video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates. I'll see you on the next video.